And it's time now for the latest in our series of science pioneers, Russians whose inventions have transformed the world we live in. Physicist and Nobel Peace Prize winner Andrei Sakharov created the hydrogen bomb before being dubbed in the West as the conscience of the Soviet Union. His scientific genius gave the USSR nuclear equality with the U.S., but Andrei Sakharov was later to become a vigorous advocate of nuclear disarmament. Some believe his invention helped prevent a third world war. RT's Guy Nechichikan reports. For Russian scientist Andrei Sakharov, the man behind the Soviet Union's hydrogen bomb, the enormity of his creation became his scourge. When embarking on the race to build the first Soviet atom bomb at the start of the Cold War, Sakharov believed the U.S. should not have a monopoly on thermonuclear weapons. His brilliance helped the USSR join the U.S. as a nuclear power, an atomic stalemate which some say helped avoid another world war. To de determine the, the fate of mankind, after all, this balance of forces which was created, Actually, we didn't have second world, the Third World War at all. We didn't have it, and because, perhaps because of this balance which was restored. But as the two superpowers intimidated each other with their nuclear military might, Sakharov became troubled by the power his scientific genius had helped unleash. He became vocal, demanding an end to nuclear testing, believing radioactive fallout threatened mankind. This was the most powerful device ever exploded on Earth, the Tsar bomb, developed by the Soviet Union under Sakharov. It was tested in the Nova Zimlia archipelago in the Arctic Ocean, despite Sakharov's desperate pleas not to. Afterwards, he described his remorse, saying, a terrible crime had been committed, and I couldn't prevent it. This was probably the most terrible lesson of my life. You can't sit on two chairs. Sakharov said the arms race was pushing the world to the brink of catastrophe and the only way out would be a reconciliation between socialism and capitalism. In 1968 he put pen to paper and called for greater freedoms in the Soviet Union. The article made huge news in the West but got him fired from his work on nuclear weapons back home. There was terrible situation. Newspapers wrote about him. He is full idiot. He degraded as scientist. De degradation. He's mentally ill, etc. So no, Mr. Nobody. And uh, it's first step to to kill. Against all odds, Sakharov continued to openly support political prisoners in the Soviet Union, even at the expense of his friends and his family's security. We suffered very much seeing that people around us were being arrested, some of them just for being close to us. In 1975 he received the Nobel Peace Prize, but five years later he was sent into internal exile for condemning the Soviet occupation of Afghanistan. It was a major crime. It cost the lives of almost a million Afghan people. That's a terrible sin we have to deal with. A man who spent 20 years making nuclear bombs was dubbed the conscience of the Soviet Union. Through his advocacy of nuclear disarmament, he was to become better known as a man trying to make peace rather than weapons of war. Denis Shekhan, RT.